back with another video another question from a subscriber guys don't forget send me your questions it gives me topics to talk about that I know that you guys want there's stuff in my head that I think oh you guys want to hear it but sometimes you, you don't so this one is another common one how often should you train stubborn body parts now this one has grated on me for so long because all right let me talk about my stubborn body parts. My stubborn body parts were my legs, my calf, my chest. At one point, oh jeez, I'm actually gonna find, try and find some pictures. And one of the pictures, like I, I took it, I was holding, I had my hands over my bits, but I took the picture to see my legs. So I might show you that one, but I'm gonna like cut, you know, bits out so you don't see that. You know what I'm saying? And then there was another picture which I think was on my really old phone so I don't even I don't even know where that phone is I don't even know how to get the footage off it but like I was standing like this and you couldn't see my chest there was nothing there it was just shoulders and this is where people say oh how do you, how do you get big shoulders like my shoulders grew off the back that was the first thing to grow like my my boy calls me Jax from Mortal Kombat because like, my shoulders and my arms are big and then at that time my chest was small so these areas have always been grating on me how do I build them how do I flip and build them how often do I train them you got all these flipping steroid junkie bodybuilders telling you train it every day hit it hard every day I tried that shit on my calves and my calves got smaller there was no time for recovery god damn so this shit is hard this shit is hard you need, it, it's, it's so hard to figure out what you need to do but generally I found that if you train it, I don't know, once every three days, you know, you're giving it enough time to rest, but you're not giving it too much time to rest. So you're always keeping it in that muscle building continuum. But hitting it every day, like I, I literally, at one point I was hitting chest every day, I was hitting calves every day. My chest development did not improve. I started getting elbow tendonitis, my joints were hurting, and my calves got smaller. The fuck? So, two things that you can do. I'm saying two, but I don't actually know if it's two because I'm freestyling this right now. We'll go with two. Train the stubborn body part a couple times a week, leaving three days. So on the, on the third day, you train it again. So if you train, say, chest on a Monday, leave Tuesday, Wednesday, and then train chest again on the Thursday. Number two, check your form. Make sure that your form is good. I was benching like a bell end for a very long time. My elbow's out here, I'm doing this, adding to my flipping freakish shoulders anyway. I needed to check myself. I needed to check myself and check my form. And I have these bloody long arms there, like flipping the wingspan of a Boeing 747. So I had to check my form. You know, I realized that I can't go so wide up because otherwise it puts too much stress on my shoulders. So I need to come in a little bit closer. I need to make sure that my, my arm is at 45 degree angle when I'm coming down. So it gets a full stretch on the chest to then come up and squeeze. That shit helped me. And I've actually got the video in my top six tips for building a bigger chest, which you can check out here. And number three, I told you, I told you there was gonna be another one. Number three, if you go heavy as hell on day one of the muscle group, then switch it up for the second day. So like I might, I might do four sets of six for the first chest day. Then the second chest day, I might do slightly lighter work and more kind of stretch and squeeze work so to get blood into the muscle and to help with recovery so you're not constantly hitting it because constantly hitting it like I did with calves had the negative effect that's my take on it anyway that's from my own personal experience I hope that helped you I hope it answered the question that's it there you go again don't forget to check out the t-shirts in the stall I think I need to get some more but what what stuff do you guys want to see you want to see hoodies like you tell me tell me tell me what you want tell me please but anyway that's it comments down below don't forget to subscribe share like I'll catch you guys later peace